All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're out at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association testing grounds, and I have with me, this is the RTS Mini Shield. It's a pretty cool little deal. Uh, one of the reasons they developed this thing is because there's, well, there's a need for it. There's a lot of special shields that are out there that um, can't withstand like 5.56, 7.62 by 39, uh, and a couple other items out there. But this is pretty neat. They do offer it in like three different sizes. I uh, believe this is the 14 by 24. And as you can see, it's like a quarter inch. This is stainless uh, steel, level 3A armor with their little encapsulated stuff. On the back side, you can see this really cool deal. It's got a trauma pad on the back side. So even if you're sitting there holding it, it's kind of like Captain America. It's pretty neat because, and there's no one behind you. You can sit here and do this right here, okay? And uh, it's a pretty neat little system. I'm not gonna, I can actually demonstrate it here in a few minutes. But what we wanna do is show you that it has a beautiful carry handle that's wrapped with a really cool vinyl, the trauma pad here, and a quick release strap system, which is really neat. Uh, again, like I said, I'm gonna put the details down below, but they've got a really cool little deal here. $3.99, I think, is what the, uh, the starting cost of it is. But in comparison, with other shields that are $1,200 and change. Yeah, this is a pretty neat deal. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna kind of do a little quick demo showing you how fun it is to shoot a firearm with it. Uh, and you can strap it to your arm. It's agile, you can do a bunch of things. The idea is to cover the vitals, okay? Um, I don't think a ship, somebody's gonna shoot you in the nuts. However, with that, you can put it behind your seat. Uh, you can deploy it in a moment's notice. And it will provide you with some semblance of coverage. Uh, nine millimeter, this is not a problem. Uh, well, we're gonna test it with some 5.56, 7.62 by 39. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take it over here and let's do some shooting with it. Stand by. All right, so we're sitting out here and I've got this thing. We're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna loosen up the strap a tad just so it can accommodate my huge muscular arms. Uh, the only thing that I would say, yeah, it's a little hefty. But you know what, uh, if if you're out there and you're working out, this is probably a good thing for you to work out with. Anyway, put that on there, I'm gonna strap it on, I'm gonna pull it tight, okay? So there, it's like this. So if you're in a position or a situation where, say for instance, I'm behind cover of a vehicle, all right? So the hood right here, I'm gonna sit here like this, and then I can do like this. Just like that, okay? Let's see if I can hit that 100 yard target. No. <laughs> Go. All right, that guy's a goner. Uh, so anyway, yeah, pretty neat situation. Uh, I like this thing. It's a shame I'm gonna have to shoot the shit out of it. So anyway, you got a friend over here who's got a 338 Lapua, but I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to illustrate what this thing will do with everyday armor. Let's go ahead and set it up. 25 yards, gonna shoot it with 5.56, five, uh, 8.55, five, and then 109, and then we'll do it with, uh, I got some Tiger, uh, 7.62 by 39. Here we go, stand by. All right, so here we go, guys. I've got the uh, Tiger, 7.62 by 39, in a 20-round magazine, per the request of the guys at YouTube. So for those who are reviewing this channel, please note that this is 20-round mag. Uh, this is a new PSAK, this is the Gen 3. Uh, I've only put a couple rounds to this guy. This guy is awesome, and it's got the beautiful, uh, what do you call that, knurled wood, uh, and the meat grinder up here in the front. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to use this guy. Go ahead and put a mag in here. All right, do one round at this thing, and we'll see what happens. Here we go. Let's get down there and see it. That ain't bad, man. That's pretty cool stuff. Level 3A armor. Uh, I don't have a 308 to test it with, but you know what? Here's the thing. Not many people are carrying around a 308 in an uh, active shooter situation. As you can see, a little dent, uh, nothing on the backside, and uh, that's it. So what we'll do, let's go ahead and hit it with some uh, 109. That's going to be the tester because I've seen level 3 armor. Yeah, 55 grain will go right through it like Swiss cheese. So here we go. Let's test it out. All right, so now... Uh, this is a new rifle I've been working with. Now, it has the old ACSS reticle in this Platinum series, but what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be zeroing it in and using that Vulcan on the side, as you can see on the Arasaka offset. And then uh, 
we're gonna have some fun. So this is 55 grain. And I just went ahead and uh, function test this guy and it is so over gas, but I don't care. Here we go. Let's go take a look at it. Man, it is a pretty firearm. Stand by. Man, that thing did good. We can see here, small dent, nothing major. Uh, you've got the, uh, the uh, what do you call that? The, uh, the pad on the back of it. What the hell do you call those things? <laughs> anyway, uh, triage or not the triage. But anyway, not a bad deal. Uh, you're going to be holding it up like this. So the spall coming off of it uh, is hopefully not going to cut your neck in half. But other than that, here, let's do the uh, 855. Stand by. All right, so a little green tip action. I got a bunch of these for sale. Don't mess with me. I know what I got. All right, make sure. All clear. All right, good deal. Beep. Let's get on there and take a look. Here we go. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, man. RTS Tactical. I'm going to put a link down below. Uh, like I said, this is the, I think the 14 by 24. <laughs> yeah, this, the screws loosened up just a tad, nothing, nothing major. Uh, but I like it. I'm going to go ahead and keep this thing. Uh, I'm not going to shoot it up any more than I have to, but, uh, I'm going to put it behind the seat of my car. Just in the event you get something run into somebody or something that wants to play games. But, uh, huh, pretty nice. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to have already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. I like you. I'm going to take you home with me. Y'all be good.